Hey everybody, welcome back. And if you can't tell by the looks of it, we're getting ready to build ourselves a zombie mauler. And I take absolutely zero credit for this build. This is actually called the Fledgling over at ZNA Productions. The z -Nots over there is where I got this idea, which you'll see because I'm totally stealing the whole idea. Uh, for most of the build, except I'm going to do a little welding on mine and uh, save myself a few bolts, that type of thing. So all credit goes to those guys over there. And, um, you know, check out their video for the build. I'm not going to go into as much detail as they did. I'm just going to kind of show you, show you my build. So again, um, I'm only going with uh, 10 of the bolts. I'm going with 10 of the nuts, 10 of the washers, and uh, 10 of the lock washers. We've got the angle iron there which of course because my camera is not that great i can't see Let's see if i can get close up on that there that's the size of the angle iron yeah there's the size of the uh you know that zinc plated bar with the holes in it and moving over here upside down of course is the size of the flat the regular flat, you know, metal piece there. Um, one of the does, things that does bother me about when people do builds is that they never include the price of anything. So you kind of don't know what you're getting into before you go to the store. Um, I picked all this stuff up at Lowe's. So that's the prices I'm going to be reading off to you. Um, the, the flat weld piece, this piece here, that flat weld piece ran me $8.54. Okay. The... Uh, the plate piece there ran four dollars and eighty two cents. The angle iron was the angle iron there was seven dollars and seventy nine cents. Okay, and the bolts, all the bolts ran about a buck eighty for all of them. The uh, washers a dollar twenty, dollar twenty, and then the uh, nuts. Or it looks like that's a dollar. 90 or I could have that backwards the bolts could be a dollar 90 and the uh, Actually, no it is the bolts are a dollar 80 and the nuts were a dollar 90 and then the all the washers were you know a set of 10 washers with a Dollar uh, 20 and a set of the other uh, lock washers with a dollar 20 as well. So there you go That's uh, that's your prices for this build. Just add all that up. Do the math yourself Show me that that schooling's working for you um, And you will know exactly how much this build's gonna cost you so there we are. We're going to get started. Um, again, this is called the Fledgling over at ZNA Productions. The z -Nots over there get total credit for this. This is not my idea in any way, shape, or form. However, I'm going to make a few tweaks to it, and I'm just going to call mine the Zombie Mauler. So there we go, and we will see you as we complete and continue on to the build. Okay, here we go. So we're down on the shop. And we've got our angle iron and our flat bar marked as is shown in the video. So let's move on. Let's get these cut. Okay, here we go. We got all of our parts cut out. You know, per the instructions on the video, and there's our long bar. I recommend um, after you cut your parts out, dress them up on a grinder. You know, kind of take those burrs and stuff off of them. It's easier to work with. They're all cut and bent and folded and such. And let's keep on going with this build. All right, we're moving right along with this build. As you can see, I got those two pieces together all drilled out. I threw a weld on both of the, both of those on the back. I'm no welder by any stretch of the imagination, so please no comments on the uh, crappy welding job. Uh, had to make those pieces twice because I screwed them up. But, you know, it happens. So let's go ahead and keep moving. Start assembling the, the head of this. Warhammer. Well, there you go. As you can see, I just went ahead and threw some really, really bad welds. 
on that to hold that together with that spacer in the middle instead of uh, sliding the brackets on first. Again, my build, so I'm doing a little bit differently. There you go. As you can see from my build, I went ahead and inverted the head because I kind of like the way that that looked better with the slant towards the top. And that's the way that I'm going to mount that spike in there. Just like that. Haven't mounted it yet. I'm not going to screw it in. I'm just going to go ahead and weld it. Got a welder. I'm not any good at welding. But you know what? you got to practice if you're going to get any better. So I'm going to practice on this. Went ahead and threw a coat of paint on there before I go ahead and attach the rest of the pieces for the head there. I'll let that dry for a little bit. I'll be right back. And here's a preliminary look at our solid oak handle plates that we're going to be putting on in just a couple moments. So we went ahead and riveted those oak handles into place, sanded it down a little bit. That's how we got a little bit of that scarring on the paint there. A little finish sanding, eh, line them up pretty good I guess. A little nick in the handle there, but I really don't care because I'm about to cover that up with paracord. Geez, I should probably try to keep that focus a little better. And I'm uh, going to hit it with some more paint here real quick before doing the paracord wrap. Well, there she is. The finished product. I was going to put a uh, paracord handle on here, but actually it looked like crap once I put it on. I actually like this wooden handle better. I'm going to touch up that paint a little bit there still. You know, and uh, throw a clear coat on it. But that's it. That's how it turned out. I'm real happy with it. About a little over five pounds overall. Very nice. Zombie style Warhammer. Let's go test it. <laughs> 